disabled 
feeling towards everyone. Usually at least I say hi, you know, um, until we've had um, an incident with them as well. So keep in mind, we are pretty much the only neighbors around them because of the weird layout. And they had some old trees in their garden. And, you know, sometimes old trees can kind of rot from inside and they become really, really dangerous. And so these um, people, and I will keep referring to them as they, but I pretty much only mean the elderly woman. So the old woman um, came up to us and she was like, you need to pay for us to cut this tree because um, if it would fall, it would fall onto your house. So it is your responsibility, which like, lady, that's not how it works. If it would fall, you would pay for the insurance <laughs> because it was on your property. But again, like they're very isolated from the society. Like I'm pretty sure she wouldn't even know. And uh, side note, if they would ask nicely, like, hey, like we have this tree, like we can't afford to cut it down. Like maybe, if, you know, like would you be willing to like maybe pay half or you know, 25%. Like, that's a different story. But this woman was very, very entitled. And funny thing is, um, she, <laughs> this is so funny to me, she was just like, I can't afford to cut this tree because it costs $5,000. <laughs> and the reason why I'm laughing is because, like, she was trying to, like, scam us out of a lot of money, obviously. But, I think because she lives in their, in her own world, she doesn't even realize how the rest of the society works with their internet. And so we can just, you know, look up prices for cutting up trees. <laughs> but, <laughs> but she was just like, she was deadly serious. Um, and then once my grandma was just walking like on the street randomly and this old woman started to scream that like, I don't even know what she was screaming. She was just like, you're so rude, like you made me spend $5,000 or some, some BS like that, which, like lady, come on, like, I find it super funny when, um, like, some people are trying to scam you, but they're like, kind of dumb while doing so. <laughs> so funny to me. It's the same. Like with, um, like this is a random story, but I've had a scammer and it was actually a scammer from the Czech Republic, but they wrote me in English and their email was so badly written and such an awful English that I couldn't even understand it. And it was super obvious that um, it was a scam because no company would ever write it like that and it was just super funny to me I thought that I am going to reply to to them in check and be 
is high-pitched barking and yeah it's um that dog isn't my favorite <laughs> all right so let's continue and by the way um side note by no means i wasn't laughing at the disabled um woman at all i was laughing at the old woman who thinks she owns the world okay just so you would know all right so let's move on so i already talked about the south neighbors a little bit they have a uh, 15 year old son i think around that age actually don't really know so there's actually this um couple living in there there is a 60 like 70 year old turkish guy and like 30 something maybe 40 something um women from ukraine um and they have this 15 year old son so obviously there is a huge age gap um the the guy already has a son that is around the same age as his wife and they have met like when she was really young um so there's that like they have been living here for a while i don't even remember actually maybe for like 20 years something like that and uh yeah they're really kind um you can tell that the woman because she again is like um getting money from the state to take care of this boy um and it's like you know she's a stay-at-home like full-time mom you can kind of see this you know she is a little you know tired because it's really like a full-time 24-hour job you know the boy always needs vigilance um he always needs care no matter what he is obviously older now but that's not gonna really change so you can kind of see that you know like she got noticeably like older she looks way older than her age because she's you know super tired from that but they're really nice neighbors um all right that's actually it for those like that's all i have to say to those neighbors um like by no means i'm not disturbed if the boy is in the garden you know making like noises like i don't really you know like it doesn't you know affect me in any way um all right let's move on to the east all right so i don't have much to say about the neighbors on the east they are um there's an old couple um the lady used to be a cook and the um the old man i don't even know to be honest um they are pretty much kind of living also in their own world uh, they used to be really mad that um we have moved in because um the lady and like the old couple that was living in here before they were friends and so she lost like a friend even though they actually just moved into like an apartment still in the same town so they could still meet but so she was kind of hostile um and i only know this because um like my relatives told me um so she was very hostile like she didn't want to talk um she would always be like oh it's such a shame that you moved in and whatever she used to say that a lot and so she, we don't really talk like we say hi she is almost completely deaf so she can't hear you well usually you have to like literally scream so she can hear you because she has like really bad um hearing and she's always like in the garden just working on like her i don't know roses vegetables i think she might even have chickens actually um so there's that um then we have neighbors on the north and again like we don't really talk much that's like the active neighbor that sometimes you can hear in my um videos because he is building like a what is it like a 
placebo pretty much so it's almost finished by now I think he started like two years ago so it's almost finished right now and I was fully convinced that the couple was divorced because I have never seen the um, woman um, at all I was convinced that they were separated and also I do have like a funny story <laughs> with them a little bit so um, once I was hearing these really really weird noises coming from outside and at first I was just like oh, maybe it's just drunk people um, because sometimes you hear a lot of drunk people in the street but I was like that's odd and so I opened the window on the other side and I was fully convinced that somebody was playing um, porn on like really high volume and I was just like what? Like, who is doing this? Um, it really sounded like they were blasting like porn through speakers like that's how loud it was so I thought like there's no way that it's a woman or something right and I actually actually recorded like an insta like a story for Instagram and this used to be like way before I've had Instagram for my YouTube channel like this was my old old um Instagram like my personal one and I was just like oh it's so funny like somebody's blasting porn through speakers and I haven't looked at the video like too much and then an hour later I like clicked on it and actually saw like two people like two silhouettes on that video in the window and I haven't noticed it before because like it was so tiny and I was like no so obviously I deleted the video like right away but I was just like that woman has got like some vocal cords because I kid you not it sounded like you know it was a really loud speaker um, so it sounded like he had a woman over and it definitely wasn't his wife but now that I think about it it just might have been like his older son who lived there because they might have been on a vacation um, so there's that I think the um, the dude might be unemployed for a while now um, because he Usually I can hear, like, even if I'm working from home, I can hear him, um, just being in the garden. But I don't know his profession, he could just work at night, right? Like, he wouldn't know. So, <laughs> there's that. Um, I also have neighbors on, like, the northeast. Um, there's a really old lady living in there, and I was convinced that she was living alone for years um however she's actually living there with her unemployed 30 year old son like he doesn't work at all he is not looking for any jobs whatsoever and it's a super like tiny house um and the reason why i thought that she's living alone is because i've never seen him before um he doesn't do anything actually he's not like in the garden he's not doing like garden work none of that and um they're pretty much living in poverty because i've heard that the woman always um buys like old yogurts from the store you know sometimes um there's like this system that if some yogurts or some of you know like i don't know meat also cheese if it's um past expiry date it would pretty much go on sale like 50% off or 75% off so this woman pretty much buys only expired food which is kind of sad you know like you would think that maybe her son would like try to move out um, because it's not easy to feed two people from one retirement um, or pension is that what it's called I think it's retirement like the retirement in my country isn't high unless you have money saved up or unless you've made a lot of like money in your lifetime and you paid a lot of social insurance then your pension or retirement is higher but I think she didn't so it must be super hard to like feed two people from that because it's you know it's not um high at all um so there's that and I think that's pretty much 
those are like my neighbors nearby. I actually um, have a high school classmate living like on the next street and it's going to be our permanent home. Like right now I'm pretty much in the process of like saving up and you know to move out eventually because the rent is kind of high here and so I'm pretty much saving up to move out but um, she, the, um, my high school classmate, she decided that she's gonna, like, stay here forever. She's renovating her grandmother's house or something. Um, but we don't really talk together. Like, we used to be friends in high school. And then we just grew apart completely in, um, college and university. And we haven't talked for, like, years now, really. So... There's that. That's all I really know. Um, you can sometimes hear noises from the train station because I live close to a regular station and I also live next to like a wood storage. So you can hear noises from that as well. So it's actually pretty noisy. I haven't realized how noisy my town is until I started filming ASMR videos. I think that 